What's up guys, Lucas here. So I'm gonna be answering a quick question, how I get good audio in my videos. And then we're gonna be unboxing a new product that I'm very excited and we're gonna be testing it out in this video. Seeing if it uh, is any better than my old system setup. This new mic right here. So if any of you guys are looking to get some really good audio for your videos, if you're into video making or just curious on what I use in my skits, in my um, tutorials and amongst other videos, I'll tell you all right now. So what I have on the camera right now is the Rode Video Micro. I use this when I'm like out just filming vlogs when I have the camera close. It's a great portable mic in my opinion. I'm happy I got it uh, instead of like the more expensive one just because it's smaller and you know it's been taking a beating. I just throw my camera and my mic right in my backpack. I take it with me to the gym. Seriously, I don't even put a lens cap on my lens. It's been fine for over a year now. So I'm very happy with the build quality of the camera which I'm just running a, a, a GH5 Panasonic and the Video Micro. Both have withstood my tests, so I'm very happy about that. Now that um, mic that I get the comment a lot, like, yo, how do you get that deep low sub sound on your videos? This mic right here, okay? This is the mic I use in all my skits, all my five minute tutorials, anything where you, you know, you see some little black thing, like right here, you know, because I suck at hiding it. I don't even care. I'm just like, what's the point, you know, right? So this is a Sony UTX-B2 and a Sony URX-P2. This came as one kit, right? Came as one kit. It's just, this is the mic and this is the receiver. This goes on top of the camera and plugs into the camera right into the mic jack. Easy, simple setup. No hassle. Literally, I just open this thing. I put it on, put this on. So we'll just plug this in right now so you guys can hear the difference. All right, so now I'm switched over to my Sony UTX-B2. As you notice, like the audio probably sounds a lot more even. Um, I believe the Sony lav mics have their own built-in compression. So it kind of just helps like bring the voice up to a constant level, which, you know, some people wouldn't like because they want to do more stuff in post. But honestly, I didn't know this when I bought it. I just bought this when I was like binge buying stuff back in 2013. And I was like, oh man, we gotta start our own business. Now we're taking things our own way. And I was planning to do uh, videos for um, small companies and stuff, which I did for a little bit. But um, like, yeah, I wasn't doing any research. I'm just like, love mic, let's get it. And luckily I got this because it's actually a wonderful microphone. Yeah, so that was back in my website, small business phase. That was a complete fail. My, my company was called Big Beaver Media. 100% serious. 100% serious. No inappropriate connotations behind that. I named that after a street. There was a street called Big Beaver, and I named it Big Beaver Media. And I remember I went to this convention, um, this little fundraiser, and I was handing out my business card, and I had long hair at the time. And I was, this lady came up to me, and she's like, oh, it's wonderful what you're doing, taking photos here. And I was like, thanks. She's like, what's the name of your company? An elder woman. And I said, uh, it's Big Beaver Media. And she looked at me with a blank stare on her face. She said, are you serious right now? I said, yeah. And then she said, do you know what that sounds like? And I said, like the street? And then she said, really, do you know what that sounds like? And I said, like the road by my house. Anyways, got a little sidetracked there. This is another mic I use. One of the little legs broke off. I use this for voiceovers and um, it's pretty much it. So like anything like voiceover, like the 25 videos or uh, just any video where I'm not in it and you just hear my voice. So primarily this works on bringing your torso forward, which is a huge part with a little assistance from the resistance. Oh, Audio Technica Studio Condenser USB mic. Okay, it's just a USB mic. There's only a USB jack right there. Cheap P-pop filter. What's a P-pop filter? It was like $5. Is you put it in front of your mic and you talk through it, and it's supposed to help reduce the harsh P's, the P, -p because usually when you say like P -p -p, you clip, and you clip, you clip like no other. You mm, mm. Super hard clipping. I've been running this mic for five years, been running around, jumping around with it, dropping it, hanging it by the cord by accident, okay? Honestly, throwing it in my bag for five years and it's been a wonderful mic. However, recently, I've noticed there's been some significant feedback coming from this and I thought it was just user error at first, like I thought it was just me and the clothes like ruffling around as I run. But then I did some more you know, experimentation and I realized 
It's actually the antenna. Hear it? It's really bad. I mean, I don't even touch it. If I just wiggle it. Ugh. I recently just, you know, took this thing apart and honestly, I just like twisted some stuff around. I should act like I know what I was doing, but I literally just kind of twisted some stuff around and picked at it and I made it actually a little better. Yeah, it's, it's just a temporary fix. So honestly, I think this is on its way out. It's probably gonna fry really soon. So I wanted to have a backup one because I can't just stop making videos. And honestly, five years is about time. If you wanna get good audio, if you're into interviews and stuff, there's really like two lav mics that a lot of people look at. There's a Sennheiser and then there's the Sony. So I'm gonna stick with the Sony because I've been super happy at the Sony audio quality. The new updated model of this, the Sony UWPD 11. Better hope everything's in there. Let's test it out. I didn't unbox this yet, I swear. Okay, I waited for you guys. All right, so pulling it out here. That's it, nothing in there. Little instructions on the back. This is one of those boxes you like go to the store, you pick up and you start reading, you know? Now I never had a Sennheiser, hopefully I'm saying that right, but I just noticed based on the pictures that the cords don't look as beefy as the Sony does. And like, I want beefy cords, you know, like an antenna. I don't want anything that's gonna break because I kind of manhandle my stuff, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's hook this bad boy up, test it out. See if it's, see if it's any better than this. I'm not really expecting it to be any better, you know, but maybe it is. So this is the new receiver right here. Fully metal. Plastic feels a little bit cheaper, but that's what you can expect, you know, from recent products. They always cheapen up the plastic. The metal feels about the same. Why is that, man? It's just like stuff that was first out. Like, like this plastic feels like way cheaper. Maybe it's just not worn in enough, but no, look at, you can tell it's just like slightly beefier plastic. But honestly, it's fine, it's gonna last. So that's what's great about these mics is there's no special batteries required. They just take double A's. So I've got, these are Amazon basic double A's. They're actually super cheap, but they feel like they're pretty quality. So in this box right here is the actual microphone in this box, in this bag. Honestly, it looks exactly the same as this one. See, I've got this like little uh, windscreen on here. Yo, these mics are basically identical. Like absolutely identical. Crying out loud, you know, you couldn't come up with a, a, a little bit more advanced mic setup, Sony, really. I guess if it works really good, don't fix it, you know? So the reason it took me so long to set up is because my other one was literally just plug and play. Like you literally just plug it in, turn it on. But I think the FCC since 2013 has uh, new regulations and new rules. So they don't want you to s disturb any, uh, like I guess airspace or any other radios, maybe law enforcement, who knows. But the uh, syncing process of the mic, basically it creates its own private channel. So when I turn that one on, I have to turn this one on. And then I literally just go to sync on the receiver and I literally just hold this next to it and there's a little infrared uh, detector on the side and it connects to it and then it creates its own private channel. So let's go test this out like an actual lavalier mic. Let's put this on and run down the street, jump on the trampoline. Hopefully we don't get much feedback, if any feedback. The only thing that you know probably would get is user error. That's just it rubbing on my clothes. So I've got the mic on right here. All right, it's right there. All right, guys, going going to get the mail. Talking to myself. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's working. Hopefully we're not getting any like <coughs> noises because uh, my legs are bobbing up and down. All right, I'm at the mailbox, which is probably like 300 feet away. You can hear me opening it. Any packages? No, just coupons. <laughs> Shoot, don't you hate when that happens? All right, should we jump on the trampoline? Testing if this thing is waterproof. <laughs> it should be. It should be waterproof. Oh, all right. Oh, man. Should I do a flip? Whoa. You know, on the trampoline, got to teach you guys how to do a backflip. In only four minutes. <laughs> Just gotta focus. 
All right, so maybe it's too loud right now, I don't know. Um, I'm messing around with the attenuator, which what that is, is that's a little device inside of the mic or inside of the receiver, inside of the mic in this case, that um, reduces the signal. So I turned it down all the way, so maybe it's too loud now, I don't know. But yeah, so there's a lot more settings. On this one, it was just you turn it on, and you only had one thing to do. So you just turn it on, and it played the way it did. But with this one, there's a lot more settings. So I'm messing around because outside it was on kind of low, which actually is good for recording good audio is you want to re record it kind of low so you don't get any clipping and then you um, compress it yourself in post, but I'm lazy. So I just want it to kind of basically all do that itself without me having to mess around with it. So I'm gonna turn the attenuator up a little bit and see if we get a little bit better. I turned it up to three now. All right, we're at three now. So it's reducing it just a little bit Hopefully it's still okay. Hello, Kevin, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, bruh. So hopefully we're at a good one right here. Six, is that too high? I'm looking at the levels on my mic. It looks like, it looks pretty good at six. Six decibels of attenuation, if I'm saying that right. Um, output level on the receiver is six. I'm gonna turn the attenuator up though. So when I go up to 12, wow, wow. Hello, really reduces the signal. I almost can't even hear myself. I'm at tw 21 right now. I'm just gonna keep it at three, six, zero. I almost like it at zero. You can hear everything. It doesn't sound as clean though. Let's turn it up to six. All right, I put the attenuator to zero and the output level to zero. So everything's just zeroed out. Maybe that's the way I want it. All right, geez, sorry about all that. The attenuation of the mic I have at six decibels and then the gain I have on the receiver that goes into the camera is set to six decibels. So I'm hoping that that combo is gonna give me clear sound. And if you're thinking I'm just pushing buttons, I kinda am. So with that being said, I'm really liking it so far. Gonna mess around with it a little bit more to get the best quality for you guys. But, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun and entertaining. You know, I'm learning stuff too during this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was entertaining. This is what I use and this is what I'm probably going to be using from now on. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. Peace. Y'all have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Yo, crazy heck. I'm literally speaking through my Bose headphones. Is it working? Or does it sound like crap?